Runners get ready to hit the trails. The Bemidji Blue Ox Marathon weekend is only one day away. Haiti Clotter shows us what you can expect for the fifth annual race. A weekend of fun running events for children and adults is how you can describe the fifth annual Bemidji Blue Ox Marathon. To hear uh, people talk about the Blue Ox like it's kind of a staple here, it's a thing. It's to make sure it, it became Bemidji's own event. The goal is to make runners feel like they're a part of Bemidji no matter where they come from. Runners represent 26 states and three Canadian provinces. We try and get them downtown to the businesses and um, the restaurants and et cetera. And uh, we just try and get them to, to see and be part of the whole community while they're here. The biggest difference this year is what will greet runners as they cross the start and finish line. A big blue uh, inflatable arch with the the blue ox horns on them. Of the nearly 1,300 participants, everyone will go home with the t-shirt and one of these medals. Everybody seems to be out there for a different purpose and that's kind of neat. Overcoming something, it was a goal, um, it was uh, just a, a bucket list or a checklist item. All of the races start and finish at the Sanford Center, including a 26K that loops around the lake and a kids course. Paul and Babe will await runners as they make their way. The full marathon now leaves here, leaves the Sanford Center and actually we'll go over the, the walking bridge on the trail uh, through downtown. It'll head north on Beltrami. And then on 15th, it'll go all the way uh, across the highway and then back towards town on the trail. In past years, runners have dealt with rain, wind, and cold temperatures. The cold can be helpful during endurance long runs. We'll see who will be named the champion. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Spectators are welcome for the races. Registration closes at 11.59 tonight. The event begins with a Be Active Expo tomorrow. For the full schedule of events, visit LPTV.org. And I'm actually going to do the 5K tomorrow. I expect to have a very good chance at winning that race. Yeah, so tomorrow's looking nice. Right? <laughs> Not really. I just have to shoot for under 30 minutes and uh, we'll be there happy with that. Yeah. Yes. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.